Hello everyone, I swear this is the last toy review, but I felt after I reviewed the new Polly Pockets, I needed to review the maybe almost better cousin sorta of ripoff. I don't know where I'm going with this. Today I'm reviewing Shopkins Little Secrets. So Shopkins. When Shopkins were first launched, I was 14 years old, so as such I thought they were pretty dumb. Not horrible toys or anything, but I just wasn't interested. It seemed like one of those toys designed so that you could collect them all, and that's probably because that's pretty much what they are. But now as the franchise has expanded, there are little compacts and little shoppies that you can purchase much like the small Polly Pockets. And yes, I'm a dork and I bought some. <laughs> noticed was that really they are way more accurate to the original Polly Pockets than the actual new Polly Pockets. They have the hinged waists and bases for feet. I really like this about the Shopkins versus the new Polly Pockets because the so called smart stick on the new Polly's is neither smart nor does it really stick. I went over this in my new Polly Pocket dolls review so I'll try to keep the talk about those dolls to a minimum. Really, in my opinion, there is no contest. I like the Shopkins Little Secrets way better than the Mattel versions. First of all, their faces are way cuter. I actually find the new Polly's to kind of have a scary bug-eyed face. Secondly, the pet slash mini Shopkins are way better, if not only in the fact that they have poles that you can stick them on. I really think that compared to the dog and the new Polly's set, these are way less likely to get lost due to the fact that they have an actual place to go in the compact. The dog is just kinda there and doesn't really have anywhere to be. While the compacts of both brands are very similar, I'd have to say I still enjoy the Shopkin once more. If I were a child, I think that there would ultimately be more play value out of them because, well, for one, the dolls actually stand where they're supposed to, and two, there seems to be more room for imagination. I think the pure simplicity of the Shopkins versions allows more room for creative play. Sure, the new Polly Pocket versions has a whole bunch of moving parts, but with so many of these in a small space, it feels a little too cramped. The Shopkins Little Secrets have a more open feel to them. Alright, but what about price? Actually, the price is another reason that the Shopkins versions are way better. I paid roughly the same amount for both of the Little Secrets compacts as I did for just the Snowball Surprise compact from the actual brand, and I actually like the Shopkins better. I highly recommend Shopkins Little Secrets over the new Polly Pockets, but if you like the other better, that's fine too. Are there any points I missed? Which brand do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.